Hello, today we're throwing together some homemade barbecue sauce. Homemade barbecue sauce is so easy when you have the right stuff. Uh, we're starting with some onion, and I'm going to use uh, this small onion here today. Uh, just give it a quick chop up. Uh, if you want to get fancy, you can make it a small dice. It's not that critical with barbecue sauce. It's going to end up dissolving in the uh, sauce anyway. So just like this, keep your fingers rolled back when you're doing this please. I want you to keep them. Okay, once you get your onion uh, chopped up the way you want it, we're going to move on to the next step. Uh, next step is preparing all the ingredients, getting them all ready, and uh, combining them, letting them all simmer on the stove. And uh, well, it's, it's pretty easy. So you can see that onion's uh, ready to go. Of course, I'm using my bench scraper, as usual, to move the onion. Uh, other ingredients, I've got here uh, cider vinegar, brown sugar or white sugar. I've got uh, paprika, some New Mexico chili powder, some black pepper, a little bit of cumin, and uh, some garlic. Uh, if you like it smoky, liquid smoke doesn't hurt, Worcestershire sauce doesn't hurt, the whole recipe will be in the video. I've got a hot, a hot saucepan, putting just a touch of olive oil in the pan, just enough to uh, saute my onion. You're going to uh, put in your barbecue sauce, get that onion cooking, okay? Okay, you can see the onion is cooked down and changed color, time to add the garlic. Uh, after you add the garlic, let it cook just for a minute. And once your garlic and onion are cooking there, spices go in next. You add the spices next because you're releasing the flavor. I know you see some other videos, people throw it all together, but you get more flavor by cooking your spices. So next we're going to put a little bit of black pepper. We've got uh, some cumin. New Mexico chili powder, paprika. I like paprika, therefore I put some extra paprika. It's just my uh, my choice there, okay? And we're going to let this cook. Let those spices cook together just a little bit. Of course, uh, no recipe is complete without salt. You gotta have some salt in there. So this is some fresh ground sea salt. Uh, it's actually Hawaiian sea salt. Use the best salt you can get. All right. And then once the spices are cooked together, you're going to uh, stir it a few times. Yeah, smells amazing. Okay, at this point we're going to add our sugar and our vinegar. And uh, the vinegar I believe was a half a cup. Sugar, same thing. Brown sugar or white sugar. Worcestershire sauce. Liquid smoke. Just a little bit, if you like it smoky. If you don't like it smoky, you can skip this step. Okay. I'm going to let this cook. Oh yeah. Wow. This, this is what I'm talking about right here. Let these spices cook together for a moment. Oh yeah. You want to wave this towards you get a little uh taste oh my god it's amazing now it's time to add the tomato sauce i'm using uh i'll show you here i'm using this this one here tomato puree use any tomato sauce you like some people use ketchup that's okay too all right this whole can of tomato sauce is going in uh this can is 32 ounces you can modify the recipe that's uh given and uh do it to your personal taste. 
I like to use this scraper and get it all out. Uh, the scraper is also called a money saver. All right, we mix this all together and then we're going to let this simmer. It's looking pretty good. Those spices are amazing in there. Oh yeah. All right, there's the sauce. Smells amazing. Uh, a quick tasting. You can see how thick it is. Wow. That is really good barbecue sauce. Please try the recipe. Leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. Keep cooking and have a great day. Okay, and how does that barbecue sauce look to you? Please leave a comment. We're about to have a uh, sliced, slow roasted pork barbecue sandwich here. We got some toasted rye bread. A generous amount of sauce is recommended, but it's completely up to you. There we go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.